Hey guys, Saturday evening, September 14th, and we have got finally some nice wind. So, FT 2000 till 2 3.2 meters in diameter is currently sitting on this grid tie inverter with double resistors because, well, one of them is 10 ohm and basically having two of them in parallel because you see how they are connected they are in parallel purely this gives me the whole 5 ohm to the system resistance that makes it work absolutely better and that makes it holding this crazy wind turbine as it should um, i mean currently these two work as same as this single one because this one specifically bought to be the 5 ohm resistor and the wind is kind of different the wind is kind of crazy Right now, right, right, a couple of minutes ago, it was shooting over eight and nine meters per second, and I've been able to even to locate uh, 1900 watts out of this wind turbine. But right now, once I'm shooting this, it doesn't want to show. What can it show? But still, um, I mean, this is pretty, pretty, pretty good and pretty decent, I think. Um, let me tell you this once there will be something very very interesting i will get to this and i will clip and paste it to you oh there it goes there it goes 800 700 no i thought it would be would spin up a little bit higher but it didn't the wind is nice, that's gusty as always, it's really really crazily gusty, um, so you cannot tell, like, I mean, it's it's 5 to 6, but with gusts to up to 10 and 11, sometimes, uh, right now it's, we are, we are at 6, so I cannot tell how much exactly will we be able to see. Like, you need some proof, right? You don't need anything additionally. But to tell you, this is the M3. I don't know if you are able to see. It's on a bad controller right now. 110, 20, 120, 118. And this is the self-made. How much does it go? You cannot see it here from here. It's 40, 30 watts. It doesn't have any height. And this is the small F3, 10 watts. Oh! this one gusted. Let's get back here. Uh, was shooting over 1000 but I wasn't able to catch it. Apparently this one is getting overheating and it decided to cool itself down a little bit. I mean, because of course it's bearing kind of nice amount of current once it's actually producing and generating this much power. So that is why it requires, I mean, yeah, it's getting a little bit hot. It's definitely getting hot. But yeah, the wind is different. You see? 3 meters per second. 3.6. What a nice surprise, <laughs> 80 watts. It should be showing 1500, right? Even when below 3 meters per second, because it dropped down to zero. Yeah. What a wind. I don't get it. It was just blowing like crazy and now it, it it's like it's like nothing. Yeah, you see? <laughs> and now it's five, five, seven hundred, right? Oh man, it's interesting. Like for those who are newcomers to the wind turbines, they, like this is what you should expect. Wind turbine is never ever going to produce you, produce you nicely and steadily. Absolutely, it's not possible. Not possible. That's how it goes. I mean... That's the reality you're going to face. I guess there we go.
well at least 1500 1500 that was good 1700 okay give me 1900 yes no no, 1500. 1500 is 9 meters per second. That's the reality and that's the truth. Actually, to get to 2 kilowatts, we have to reach like 10 meters per second wind speed. And apparently right now we are slightly below that. Um, but yeah, well, that's very decent. That's very decent. This is how this thing should go, and it goes quite nicely. I mean, the the 3.2 meters in diameter wind turbine, yep, the wind slowed down, like apparently, I mean, and that's crazy, it was just shooting 1500 and now 140, right? 100, even less? Will it even stop? No. I mean, I don't understand that, and that's just... This is how the M3 goes. Uh, it was shooting right at the moment when that one was showing uh, nice amounts. It was showing 250-270 watts. So yeah, that's the difference. From the bigger wind well, you can definitely get more. This is the self-made with the MPPT controller. I mean, that works quite strange, but I mean, it, it just works. It has a very much lower height. So I don't expect too much from it. Uh, let it just like sit in there and do what it can do. I mean, five meters difference because this is the self-made 1.65D uh, sits on five meter above the ground and this one sits on 10 meters above the ground and the difference is massive. You see like 30, 40, 50 watts and 60, 70, like double. Double the height and double the production, <laughs> roughly. Okay. Well, will I be able to show you 2 kilowatts out of it today? Not sure. I can show you zero, right? <laughs> like now. I don't understand this when This is really something crazy. Because if, if it went to zero, it doesn't mean it actually rotated. Because you see, here is the voltage. The voltage keeps um, like at, at, at quite decent and, 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 and nice levels. It doesn't go down too much, but you see how it actually starts spinning quite quickly. Um, that's everything that wind uh, does. Like I have no influence on that. The only thing I can I can adjust is the power curve. And by the way, if you are interested, if you would be buying like this wind turbine, the, the, the 48 or 96 volts one. So these are the exact settings I am using. Let me try to focus it a little bit so you'll be able to check, to, to, you'll be able to, able to see. Um, yeah, these are the settings. I will not be like changing them right now because we are watching how will it go. I'm not sure if we will have any gusts to actually show you 2 kilowatts, but yeah, let's wait and see. <laughs> 